Good evening and welcome to Tucker Carlson tonight. Tucker's getting an early start on the pumpkin pie and I'm the turkey he pardoned. One man is a deadly seductive cult leader. The other is Charles Manson. That's Newsweek's take on President Trump's similarities to the deceased killer Charles Manson. We'll discuss that in just a bit. But first, a waves of sexual misconduct allegations has turned into a tsunami, uh, sweeping away all of Los Angeles County, Manhattan Island, and the District of Columbia. First, it was the Hollywood Titans, Harvey Weinstein, Kevin Spacey, Louis C.K. Then it was uh, Senator Al Franken. Now, Charlie Rose has been fired by both CBS and PBS after multiple accusers came forward. And today, Rose's uh, CBS This Morning co-hosts addressed his misconduct allegations. Let me be very clear. There is no excuse for this alleged behavior. This will be investigated. This has to end. This behavior is wrong. Both my son and my daughter called me. Oprah called me and said, are you okay? I am not okay. Uh, after reading that article in the Post, it was deeply disturbing, troubling, and painful for me to read. What do you say when someone that you deeply care about has done something that is so horrible? Meanwhile, in Washington, even Nancy Pelosi says Democrat Congressman John Conyers must face an ethics investigation for allegedly harassing numerous women on his staff. Uh, we'd be remiss, by the way, if we didn't revisit what our old friend Maxine Waters once had to say about Conyers. You know, there is a member of Congress who has been supportive of women for many, many years. He is quiet, he is confident, he is powerful, but he has impeccable integrity on all of our issues. Give John Conyers a big round of applause. Yeah. Give him a big hand and he'll put his big hand all over you. Across the country, it's one Democrat after another now. The chair of the Florida Democratic Party has resigned over misconduct in New York. A woman says former Democrat Assemblyman Sam Hoyt sent her nude photos and threatened to have her fired if she resisted his advances. In her lawsuit, the woman says Governor Andrew Cuomo's administration ignored her complaints. And in California, the Disney animation head and longtime Democratic donor John Lasseter is taking a leave of absence after acknowledging his own, quote, missteps. It must come as a shock to those who still fancy Democrats the, quote, party of women. Roy Moore's starting to look kind of lonely as an accused person on the political right. Uh, and speaking of uh, Roy Moore, President Trump weighed in for the first time today on the allegations against him. I can tell you one thing for sure. We don't need a liberal person in there, a Democrat. He denies it. Look, he denies it. I mean, if you look at what what is really going on and you look at all the things that have happened over the last 48 hours, he totally denies it. He says it didn't happen. And, you know, you have to listen to him also. You're talking about, he said 40 years ago, this did not happen. He totally denies it. Meanwhile, Charlie Rose has a 48-year broadcasting career vaporized in 24 hours. Uh, Penny Young Nance is president of Concerned Women for America. She joins us. Uh, Penny, these are all uh, liberal icons who are falling here, not just Charlie Rose, uh, uh, Kevin Spacey. That's like the mm. coolest TV show, TV drama uh, for, uh, for liberals and progressives. Then you have Harvey Weinstein, the maker of all the uh, upscale Oscar bait chick flicks. Is there a pattern one can discern here about uh, supposedly the uh, side of women and mm -hmm. what they're actually like in private? Well, I, you know, look, I, I feel a little bit like we flipped on the light and we're watching the cockroaches scatter. Mm. And as miserable as this is and as uncomfortable, it's important to happen. We, what, we have to expose this in order to get rid of the moral decay. And honestly, Mark, this isn't just a, a Democrat issue. It's a Republican and a Democrat issue. And we've got to be honest about that. Uh, the EEOC estimates that, I think this is a high number, that one in four women have, uh, have experienced sexual harassment in the workplace. 
violence. Mm -hmm. Regardless of what the number is, it's horrific, and we have to be serious about it. And we've got to step forward and meet this head on and deal with it because it's, it's a heart issue. But I do have to say, that I wonder 20 years ago if, you know, if Patty Murray and Diane Feinstein and Susan Collins had stepped forward and challenged Bill Clinton, if we would be further down the road. Well, because I think this process will work its way out. At the end of this, we will be better. Well, to go back to what you were just saying there, in the 90s, we were explicitly mm -hmm. told that character doesn't matter. The people said, right. who cares if it's this guy... It's just about sex, Who right? cares if this guy is a pig? Mm -hmm. It's just about sex. Everybody does it. What's changed then? Well... You know, I think that there's a reckoning because we have ignored this and because we've ignored the decay, it's been allowed to flourish. Mm. And it's a serious issue as a mother of a 20-year-old. I think all of us have to recognize we want better for our children. We thought the days of mad men were over. Some of yeah. us knew better, but it's not, and it's real. And I want my $14 million taxes that were paid, for, paid out to, for congressmen to get paid back. I'd like to see them explain to their wives what happened to the money in their paychecks when it's garnished back to the American people. That, we have to take this seriously. That, that seems to be pure madmen, in fact, where it's recognized that uh, the that, that, that male members of Congress are uh, entitled to let their wandering hands wander where they yeah. may, and then the taxpayers will pay for it. But, but let, me, uh, let, let me ask you about the, the broader liberal scene. I mean, some of these guys seem to have figured out that actually being a, a liberal progressive is a great way uh, to meet vulnerable right. chicks and hit on them. I mean, basically, mm -hmm. Harvey Weinstein seems to use all those uh, classy movies uh, with Meryl Streep <laughs> and Judi Dench as, as, as cover for hitting on the broads who come into his orbit. Uh, the same thing I think you, you can say about Charlie Rose at PBS. I mean, in a sense, are they factoring, is that part of the business model uh, that, right. that, 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 that that's actually where you go to meet the kind of women you can prey on? Well, I don't know why, why that, uh, that they allowed um, Harvey Weinstein to be at the Women's March backstage with women that he had, had assaulted. You know, I think that's absolutely outrageous. But we have to be honest that, that, that licentiousness cannot be ignored, whether it's in Hollywood, whether it's in journalism. And the next shoe to drop, mark my words, Mark, will be in the whole hollowed halls of, of academia. Oh, yeah, I, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a whole world with all those college professors. That uh, is Penny, a right ground right there. Penny, thanks, uh, thanks mm -hmm. for that. Nobody. Thank you.